Welcome back, everybody, to the <laughs> to the Philly Esports Super Smash Holiday Bash, hosted by the U.S. Army Dauntless Snacks and the Center Ring Podcast. We're just about to head into our second matchup: Chewy versus um, Chewy versus Seven. Um, I believe is pronounced. Um, yep. Both of them have made it through to the next buy, and uh, we're just about getting ready to start. Actually, we're hopping in right now, uh, so I believe we'll we'll let some of the information flow as time goes on. Particularly Chewy, a Mewtwo main who made it into the top 96 pools of the most recent CEO back in 2021. I make sure to watch out for him along the way through this tournament. But Seven has had a lot of stats as well. A Mario main, as you can see, we'll test that proficiency right here as we head into FT. My alarm clock went off, my bad about that. <laughs> but no, yeah, we have a lot of great players here. No, I'm telling you, bro, I, like, I'm from the I'm from the uh, the West Coast, so I came here just to come to this event, and I'm glad I did, because right now, Chewy and Savant are just going at it. Down throw into full air, good bread and butter combo throw, coming off from Mewtwo. And dude, I love seeing just how raw Chewy is at these edge guards, but Savant not gonna go out without a fight. Chewie's just holding a lot of coverage. You see just every single option trying to be covered in quick succession. And even then, especially when you're playing Mario, you have the ability to kind of get out of that jail if you guess correctly. And so far, yep. Kevin has been. Nice dodge to up smash to equalize things. Oh, but that up is going to get punished quick. Yo, that was overzealous. My man was hungry. He said, yo, let's up me go and land. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, he will pay for that, but that's all right. Good up smash. Not going to kill just quite yet. Mewtwo is heavy, but not, not, not heavy. Mewtwo's light, but not that light. So he will have some room. Oh, your jump is gone. Good Lord. That was so scary. That down there, not going to kill him just quite yet. But so far, Seven is getting his ass with the combo breaker with that new killer. We're just getting out of jail for free, but oh my God. Savon, that's Savon too. It's just on my man's right now, like Dirty Dan. Somebody help him, please. Both of these there characters have such notorious air ways of air control and such different ways of air control as well. Chewie's floatiness is such a dangerous tactic to watch up that early damage and a heavy amount of damage as well. But the second Seven's Mario gets going, it gets going. And yep. just about that dodge. Oh, that's really bad there. Again, trying to find that spot where you can equalize here. Trying to get a, as much damage as possible out of Chewie here. Nice get up with that up air out. Seven's in the air, but Chewie's got to complete. He just can't yet. He's so scared of that cape. I would be too, though. Yep, and they both have reflectors, right? So it's a game of, yo, you throw that shadow ball, I dare you. But Mewtwo can challenge that. Not a lot of characters can. And one thing, like you said, that's really smart. First of all, good up air coming on from uh, Chewie. Gonna take the stuff, and he's almost there. But it's like you said, right? Mario hits you once. He hits you like 7 billion times. So he has to be careful right now. A good up air string can get the kill so fast if he's not careful. Yeah, and see, look, Chewie keeps trying to set up, but Seven is on his toes. Remember, these frame trades, Seven's frame data as Mario was so, so fast. So even with that up tilt startup from Chewie, he's coming up and he walked down air. Oh, that is so juicy, so nasty, Chewie. Don't do him like that. That down air hitbox. What a travesty there for Seven. An early retirement for that first game. I mean, I didn't expect it to end that quickly, Arbiter. He said, step on my mans. He walked on him. He walked on him. Good stuff coming on to Shui. Okay. You was not kidding when you said this boy was clean. This man is playing like a legendary Pokemon right now. Savon is going to have to bring a Master Ball or something if he wants to bring his A game up because he has to put in that overtime. Well, you still got one more match to prove yourself. It is still a best of three, and we'll see Seven is still choosing that fighter out. I, I guarantee you Chewie's going to stay on that Mewtwo. Clearly, they're comfortable on it, as can be. I think Seven could remain on that Mario as well. I mean, they, they definitely have prowess, and it's easy to see that. It's just they cannot trade properly and consistently. We saw a lot of times where Chewie's approaches were countered. They just... There just were too many approaches coming up for Chewie, and Seven couldn't counter as quickly as I think they should have. Um, they just yep. didn't have enough opportunities that opened up. Seven didn't and get his foot in the door long enough or consistently enough, and Chewie took advantage, eventually overpowering. But Seven played and, catch up pretty well. Yeah, and, and Mewtwo just has that long range, right? Mario's like a, he, he's a jack of all trades character, but one issue where he does struggle with is his lack of range, right? Mario struggles against sorties. He struggles against characters like Min Min, but who doesn't? Uh, he struggles against just people with long, with long range. And Mewtwo, that giant long tail is just able to, oh, oh, he said, mine's is bigger. He said, you think you got range? I got range. So y'all can't see who he went, 
but you're gonna see soon. Can't people who in this game has the most range in the game? I'll give you a hint. It's Min Min. Yeah. So said <laughs> said you think you got range? She. Let me challenge that. Yeah, you want to talk difficulty, you want to talk range, you want to talk these zoning tactics that Seven was failing at. Look no further than the arms rep on Smash. It's Min Min. Look at that center stage control. Look at that damage being racked up. And the, and the Mega Watt hasn't even been pulled out yet. It's been Ram Ram and Dragon all day long. There's that forward throw, that constant disjoint, that constant point control. Chewie just barely able to get in a word in edgewise right now, but he's only got 70% oh right god. now. Oh, this is already proven to be so much more oh dangerous here. Oh my god. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Good lord. Oh. This is a night and day difference coming on from Savon. That lack of range Mario had is putting in that work, putting in the hours, and he is taking what's ours, like the Wayne the Rock good <laughs> stuff. And so so here's the thing, right? Not only does Min Min have like crazy ass range, Min Min kills so early. And one thing I've heard from different mutas is this matchup is just so difficult for Min Min. I mean, for Mewtwo, but good edge guard and only 23%. That's not bad whatsoever. He can make that work. That was a really great, cl great climb back there from Chewie, being able to find that percentage really quickly, find that kill really easily. But uh, it's the follow up that really counts. And Chewy is looking to uh, to catch up, stay pretty even with Savon so far. But I mean, the second you let go of that center, Savon is going to get 40, 50 percent really Ten easily. And all oh, edge control so dangerous. Yep, Tenric, real quick, the screen is dark. That's just that's just foreshadowing Savon's or Chewy's future if he is not careful. He's going to have a dark future here in losers bracket. But good down tilt into forward here, looking real nice right now. Not to give up without a fight. Luckily for him, this stage is small, so he has more room to grab and get what he needs from oh. him. And but sadly, going to hit him with the splits and take the stock. Savon hitting the exact same points that Chewie was before, getting ahead in the stock game. The second you're ahead in there, oh, the second you can get punished just as quickly. It's an even game right now. Savon is going to change that ASAP, but Chewie's not done just yet. Oh, it's neck and neck right now. Every second that Savon finds an opening, Chewie's just fell right back. Going for with the depth, doesn't find the spike hitbox, but it's still right back on with the damage. Trying to edge guard here. This is where Savon is at their weakest. Catches just barely with the near back throw. Tries to do some damage there. Get some zoning out through that board with the neutral beat. Nice down tilt to keep that zoning out. The second that Savon loses that center coverage, he loses everything. Forward air to keep him back out on the edge side. And Chewie's going for it all this time. Has that 70% advantage down. On Smash to try and finish things early. Megawatt's out to try and play catch up here. That's a big risk for Savon, but you gotta risk big to win big here. Get that game back out. Down Smash out, waits for it, gets the kill out, and Chewie's moving on to the next round. Wow, he didn't give my man a chance to play. He did not give my man a single chance to play. Good lord. But hey, Chewie takes the stock and lets him go. Good stuff. And it's...